Hello and welcome to another scrapbookpal.com video. Today we're going to be looking at the Zig two-way glue pen with a fine tip. You can see here the tip is white and has no glue in it yet. You're going to take that when you open it and press the tip down on a scratch piece of paper, pumping it, and then you can press and hold it down. You'll know when it's ready to go because the tip will be filled with blue glue. When you first apply this glue, it will come out blue and will create a permanent bond. As the glue dries, it dries clear and then creates a temporary bond. You can see here that the glue has already started to dry and turn clear in just a matter of moments. Once that's clear and dry, it will be good for a temporary bond. If you apply it and stick it down while the glue is still blue, you will have a very strong permanent hold. Now let's apply some glue to this heart and let it dry. We'll come back to it in a moment, but I wanted to show you this glue also works great for getting those fine detailed strips of cardstock with that fine tip. Now let's come back to the heart. You can see the glue has dried and it's still tacky. So now I can decide where I want this die cut heart to go and pick it up and move it around several times. Now here I just pressed it into place and left it there and it did stick. But on some elements you may need to apply more glue. I can also use this glue to add embellishments such as these sequins. Now I'm going to take the glue and make a mask. So I apply the glue around this heart that's die cut from some printer paper. I'm going to let this dry. It only took about a minute and then I'll apply it to my cardstock. With the mask in place, I'm now able to apply some Distress Oxide ink around that. You can see the mask does not move. It's holding firmly in place. And once I have all the ink I want, I can remove that mask. There's no gluey residue left on the cardstock, and I would be able to reuse that mask again if I wanted. Now I'm gonna use the fine tip pen to add glitter to this decorative strip of cardstock. So I just drew the glitter on where I wanted it, sprinkled on the glitter, tap off the excess, and now I have a really nice line of glitter following that zigzag pattern. This glue works great for your lightweight embellishments. It's also acid-free, xylon-free, and non-toxic, so you can feel safe when using it in all your paper crafting needs. I hope that you have learned something new about this glue and will give it a try. You will find it available in the scrapbookpal.com store. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!